Pante and Kiora, this is the Indigenous Spark Podcast. We are coming to you from the Enoch First Nation at the World Indigenous Nation Games. We're at Tomahawk Park, uh, enjoying the day, enjoying the competition, and being together as a big Indigenous family. I have a special guest today from Aotearoa, New Zealand. Please introduce yourself. Kiara tata katoa, ko te rua Wallace toku ingoa, he uri au no tūwhare toa te atu hau nui a paparangi me te aroa hoki. Beautiful. Now, can you translate that into English, please? I sure can. Thank you. Kia ora, everybody. My name is Terua Wallace, and I am a descendant from Tuwhare Toa, Te Ati Haunui Paparangi, and Te Arawa. Right on. And so, Te Arawa, I understand, because I spent time over there. Yeah. It's in Rotorua, right? Yes, that's okay. correct. And Rotorua is in the central North, North Island. Island. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. So, what what kind of things do you do over? What do you do over over there? Um. So. I am currently working at Indigenuity and we're a company that help our Māori whānau into home ownership. So um, taking them through the steps, talking with the lawyers, talking with the banks, um, yeah, right up until they get into their houses and give them the kids. Wow. Yeah. It's awesome. amazing it's an amazing work, um, amazing job. I love yeah. it. Um, I feel like it makes me feel feel great. Like giving giving people houses and putting Putting people onto land, that, yeah. like that's an amazing thing to do, and um, the faces, oh, the faces, or oh, the smile on their faces, um, you know, when they achieve that is yeah, priceless. I bet you, I bet you that is. Wow, yeah. that's great work you do. It is. Good. So, like, uh, what? I understand that you sit on the youth committee as well. Yes. And you help you? Yes, I sit yeah. on um, the youth committee for um, for Maori Fanui, so um, representing. Um, our tribes from all over um, Aotearoa with wow. Pepe and with Timodi as well, yeah. who you have met. Timodi Kingi. Yes, Timodi yeah. Kingi. Yeah. Hey, Timodi! Hey, Timodi! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I'm taking him in this video for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I work with um, those with those two along with mm -hmm. um, a lot of other amazing rangatahi yeah. uh, doing mahi. Um, Pepe awesome. has explained it and he'll know a lot more. Yeah. Uh, he knows a lot more um, than I do. Okay. But me and Timodi also. Timodi and I also work uh, with a group of rangatahi in Rotorua um, under Tuia um, and we run rangatahi wānanga, so youth Māori wānanga with our high school students in Rotorua. Um, four wānanga a year, yeah, we gather together and we talk about the past, where, you're, where you came from, um, you're now and where you're going to Beautiful, that is great work. So, what kind of education do you need to do the kind of work you do in terms of like the home ownership thing? Tell me that story about how you came to, what kind of education did you get? Um, <laughs> really I didn't yeah. know education at all. Okay, I, okay. That's just, oh well, I guess the main thing, oh, the, the knowledge that got me through into that job yeah. was um, knowing my culture and knowing my real. So I went Good. to Te Kura Kaupapa Māori Orua Mata, which is the oldest um, native school in New Zealand. Okay. Um, no only, English speaking. No though. English speaking. I've yeah. been in Talk those. Talking Te Reo Māori, uh, learning Te Reo yeah. Māori. So I went there um, and in there fully immersed in our culture and our tikanga, so our practices and all of that. So mm -hmm. coming out of school, um, that job was put out. Okay. I took it, yeah. yeah. And um, my boss is Inez White and she's the one who's educated, who went into the okay. Pākehā system, got educated in yep. that. Um, yeah. And to her she's like, no you don't have to study it, I'll teach you all you need to know. So, yeah. awesome. just under her wing, learning as I go. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. You know, I really do believe that, uh, I really do believe that there's going to be a time when this, that this formal education system that we know, it's going to be obsolete. There's not yeah. like college and university yeah. are meant for an old way and an yeah. old time. Yeah. And you know, we're really empowering ourselves through the internet, social media, and other ways our culture as well. Yeah. And we're, can, we can decolonize our minds in those kinds of ways. So yeah, I think definitely. that's a really beautiful thing that you're doing. Yeah, a really great example for for other people out there, indigenous brothers and yeah. sisters, that can yeah. uh, pursue the same things. Um, so, what kind of adversities or challenges do you think that the youth face over in Aotearoa? What are the kinds of things that you've seen or that you guys are working on over there? Um, there's a lot of issues with our rangatahi in New Zealand. Uh -huh. um, I think one of the biggest ones would be your identity. Yeah. Um, 
probably the biggest thing that's missing and also the biggest thing that you need as an individual um, to go forward in life. Uh, so doing these wānanga that I do with Te Māori um, helps and restore that or helps open up your vision. I feel like our rangatahi are kind of like this. Um, like the matrix kind yeah. of wired into this. Well, this is this is one of them, right? Like, yeah. I, you know, it can be. Wired I think. Well, the system. It, yeah, it can be used. I think uh, there was a, there was somebody here who explained about a spark can turn into a fire, yeah. and it can turn into a bushfire or a big flame, right? Yeah. So you got to really have uh, uh, moderation in everything Infinite. that you do. And I think this is one of them. So this is my this is my positive contribution to that matrix. Oh, I think. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome yeah. 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 So if you had a message right now, and the the, the main purpose. One of the main purposes of the podcast is to help our indigenous family mm -hmm. through adversity. So giving giving them a message of hope, helping them and people who are feeling uh, uh, lost, alone, isolated. Maybe they want to give up. Please yeah. give us a message um, if you can. My message to any rangatahi out there would be um, to go home, go back to your land, um, be one with your land, be one with nature and yeah just pull out of the systems and embrace it all because yeah there is no you without your culture and without, without your language perfect right on well thank you very much i really appreciate uh, all your korero and all of your talk to everybody out there um i guess that's it for now so until next time kakite kakite and and hi hi Hi, hi. Yes. Okay, Indigenous Park <laughs> Podcast. See you later, guys. Kakite.